it's presley.gogames.com here and today is our last hour of code and we are going to be doing something in real life called My Robotic Friends. Yeah. So we thought maybe it would be cool to uh, give an example of a way that you can play around with like programmatic thought, programmatic thought, thinking like a, thinking like a programmer, um, without even using a computer, right? And we have, we got this really cool game called Puzzlets. Um, we'll put a link. I'll put a uh, end card that goes to this and put a link in the description if I can remember uh, future Brian uh, edit this as the end card. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really cool game and it comes with this little game board and it's a lot like the Hour of Code stuff you've seen Presley do where instead of putting these little block instructions in on the computer, you have these little physical blocks that you tell your guy what to do. Um, so it, it helps a little bit, but still this controls something that happens like on your iPad or your computer screen or something. So we wanted to do something that you didn't need a computer for at all. Um, and we found this one on the code.org website, which again, there'll be a link down in the description. You can go to code.org and check this out, um, called My Robotic Friends. And all you need for this is a stack of cups. And a friend. And a friend, or two, or many. Or many, uh, yeah. And a, a pencil and paper, something to write with and some paper. And, and you'll be all good. So we're just gonna try and uh, plow through this really quick. There'll be a lot of fast forwarding going on in this video, because <laughs> there's gonna be, it's gonna take some time for us to do it, but yeah. we'll, we'll speed through some things. So really, what it's teaching you is one, it's gonna turn one person into a robot. So we're gonna turn Presley into a robot first, I think, and then we'll turn me into a robot. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna write a computer program that treats her like a robot and tells her everything that she needs to do to build a stack of cups mm -hmm. the way that I want her to build that stack of cups, right? And so uh, she can do, let's see how many moves there are. She knows how to do a couple of preset moves. One is pick up the cup, put down the cup, mm -hmm. and then move the cup to the right and left, mm -hmm. and I'll have to say how many times to do that. Mm -hmm. And then there's also turn the cup over. Yeah. So there's turn the cup over to the right and turn the cup over to the left, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna write down a series of instructions that tell her how to do that based on, there'll be a stack of cups that sit right here. I built this little board so you guys can see uh, that has the circles that represent the cup spots just to help keep track of where you are. I think it'll be a lot easier to keep track of it when you're doing the program. Uh, so we're gonna build first, we're gonna show you how you would build this little, I think it's a three cup pyramid. I think that actually, that's all we're gonna build right there. Uh -huh. We're gonna write down the instructions and just show you how the game works, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, and then we'll each write a program down that the other person has to follow. Yeah. And you can do this on your own, you can do it with big groups of people, you can have one person write down the program, another person that reads the instructions while a third person builds the contraption, mm -hmm. or you can break up into teams if you're doing it in the classroom. So you have one person that kind of writes a program and then teams of people try and build it exactly yeah. like it. Well, there's all kinds of different variations you can do. It would this, be obviously. really cool um, for a team where there would be a designer team who designs a stack of cups and people mm -hmm. would translate that into code and then people who would tell the robots totally to do agree. that. It's almost like playing telephone, right? Yeah. You could have a team where one person builds a stack the way they want it to be and you kind of take a picture of that. And then a second person on the team writes the instructions down a third person reads the instructions and a fourth person builds it and you see if you end up with the same thing. Yeah. It'd be pretty slick. That's a good idea, Presley. I like that. All right, so we we're going to... create a factory line with my friends. We're going to build how do you build this little three cup pyramid, mm -hmm. right? And so Presley's going to be the robot and I'm going to... This goes right here. This is position one, okay? That's one. So I'm going to write down instructions and she's going to do the instructions. Mm -hmm. And she'll do them as I write and talk so we can make sure we do it. Okay, so okay. number one is up arrow, which means pick up the cup. So That's not two. One, yeah, just one, one cup. cup. You don't got to go too high. <laughs> And then we're going to go to the right, half a step. Yep, so that would be there. And then we're going to go to the right again. Okay, stay up in the air, yeah, please. Yeah, up in the air. Yep. Uh, I just needed to assure myself that this is where I need to be. And then we're going to put it down. Robots don't do that. Yeah. I didn't tell you to. Robots only do what they're told. <laughs> not, oh, I need to check and make sure that I'm doing <laughs> That's not how robots work. Yeah. Right? All right, so your hand's still right here. Unless that's programmed. Okay. So now you're going to go back to the left. Without the cup, you put the cup down. Okay. Uh, okay. So you go back to the left half a step. <laughs> So you're not all the way back there yet. Half a step. Yep. You do the same half steps. So you're going to go two steps. Now you're back there. Yeah. And you're going to pick up the second cup. You're going to go half a step to the right. Half a step to the right, which puts you right back where this one is. Half a step to the right. And then half a step to the right again. And then you're going to go down. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Hands still there. Oh, hands still here. <laughs> yep. Then you're going to go half step left. Half step left. Half step left. Half step left, up arrow to pick up the cup. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the right. Half a step, half a step, half a step, down. Hey, 
They go to the pyramid. So that is the computer program, or the robot programming that I built to make her build this cup. Yeah. So in theory, you know, I, I could I could have been out of the room and I could have handed her this, and she follows these sets of instructions and she ends up with this pyramid that we built. Yeah. The reason you do half steps, just so you see, uh, if it's not obvious, is you know, this can't be one and this two because then you could never put this cup here, yeah. right? You need to be able to go half steps. And then on the next level, you're gonna go back to these. So yeah, you have to do, this is one. Yeah, wait a second. Sorry, I thought you were stacking them again. No. So this is one, this two, is two, this three, is three, four, two, five, five, six. six. Okay, so that's the gist of what we're gonna do. So uh, I'm gonna build a cup pyramid, Preston's gonna leave, I'm gonna build a cup pyramid, and then I'm gonna write down a set of instructions for her to build it, and she's gonna come back and she's gonna try and build yeah. it. And then we'll switch places and do it the other way. You ready? Right. see you later. Let's do that. Okay, so this is the tower that I made, um, and this is what I'm gonna get try Presley to try and recreate. Um, it took me this much instructions. You saw how much it took just to do that little three cup tower, so this is the full instruction set for what I'm gonna ask Presley to do. So I'm gonna take this down and then have her come in and see if uh, she can recreate what I made following my robot instructions. So this is exactly what I built. She followed the instructions like the robot, and she built exactly what I wanted. You want to do the cup stack thing, or do you want me to do it? No, I want to do like the thing where yeah. you yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to remove this one. We'll just first. turn it over. Just turn yeah. it over and use yeah. it. I'm gonna turn it over and use it. Go faster. There you go. Nice. Okay. So now. That's exactly how it works, right? Huh. We're gonna do another one real quick. Um, Presley's gonna build one and write instructions yeah. for me, and then I'm gonna build it, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll see if I can do just as good as she did, because that was perfect. <laughs> Nicely done, that was a really complex one. You did really great. Well, here's what I'm going to get my dad to build. Um, I thought it would be somewhat tricky to put these, these, this here and this here. So yeah, um, now it's time to get him to try and replicate my instructions. I've got my instructions here. Mm -hmm. Preston's gonna sit and watch me maybe mess up her uh, beautiful creation, <laughs> and we'll we'll go for that. So let's see if I can build what she needs, okay. or what she designed, not what she needs. Know why you would need it? What <laughs> she designed. <laughs> I was off by one a couple times because I started getting into the cup over <laughs> thing. Like three cups over. Okay. All right. Three half cups over. Okay. So we're good. Oh, I did. I actually got it where it's supposed to be. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Um, you made it according to my instructions. I did make it according. So this is the whole point though, right? This is a perfect example, Presley, because like we also we talked a little bit on one of the other videos about the CS50 thing. We're doing the Harvard mm -hmm. uh, thing at edX, and so one of the really funny things he did in the class was he had a couple of volunteers come up, and then they had all the accoutrement to make a uh, accoutrement, accoutrement <laughs> to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and then the, he had the people in the audience treat them like robots and give them the instructions to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Open. Bro. And they had one of the guys that was like a TA, so he kind of knew the whole exercise, and so they would say first uh, open the bread, and he like took the butter knife and stabbed the loaf of bread. <laughs> And ripped it open and so like they were saying that like you know the computer and or the robot or the computer or whatever can only do what you tell it to do yeah. right it's dumb like the computer is not going to go oh that's really weird that cup shouldn't go there because it would teeter and well, the computer's gonna go okay I'll put the cup there that's what you told me to do right and so this is this is programmatic thought this is thinking like a computer programmer I need if then is statements understanding this. that uh, 
do that. It, it's going to do exactly what you tell it to do. And we talk about this at work all the time, where you know a computer's going to be like, yeah, all right, and, and try what you told it to do, even if it's going to blow up and go horribly. Right? I'm going to delete the entire database. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm right here. You told me to do it. I'm going to do it. Right? <laughs> um, and so, like, it's really important. And he also brought up the whole thing about like if you're using a computer program, like if you're just a user and you're on like you know using PowerPoint or Chrome or PowerPoint. Why did I say PowerPoint? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're probably not using PowerPoint. If you're using uh, Photoshop, is what I meant to say. If you're using Photoshop or you're using Chrome and browser crashes, it's because somebody told the computer to, and he said somebody told the computer to do something stupid yeah right and it's just a mistake and they didn't have error handling but like there wasn't a statement like Presley said an if then statement that sort of said if the cup is going to fall over don't put it there like something went wrong if you don't put error handling in then this whole thing could fall over right and so this is that was a really actually that actually turned out to be a really good example for yeah. like why this is thinking like a programmer uh -huh. right and you make a mistake i read it wrong i make a mistake the person bit like somebody else and so this is why it would be fun to do it with a bunch of people too yeah. right like we could have like the people who design it and then the people who translate that into code mm -hmm. make a mistake by putting something right. like i did which is right. don't go go three not four right and the person building it counts wrong and they make another mistake but the what would be funny is if the person making a mis made a mistake and it ended up being what the designers got yeah right well if if like two people made mistakes and they corrected each other or something but the beauty of the computer thing is once it gets once you give it to the robot and you tell the robot to move over seven half steps and put flip the cup over and put it down that's what it's going to do yeah every time it's not going to have a counting error and put it in the wrong place right <laughs> and the other thing it's not going to get lost it's not going to get confused about where it was in the instructions it's not going to get bored with building a huge like that's why computers and robots and machines are so amazing is that they are just perfect at following instructions yeah. but that means we have to be really good at giving them the right instructions <laughs> or they're going to do the wrong thing right yeah. and they don't know they're like yeah okay i'll just destroy this tower i have no problem with that that's what you said dude, right yeah. so hey excellent example Thanks. good job so this is actually a really fun little exercise you can do it like we did just with two people like you get a big group do it in different ways i think yeah. it'll be fun to play around with right uh -huh. cool all right so happy uh cs education week mm -hmm. this is our last one and i think everybody should try this out we should get a bunch of your friends together and play this it'd be fun yeah um it's highly likely that next time we get together, we're going to have to stay indoors anyway. Yeah, that's probably true. So if you like what we're doing, then please subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with what we're doing. Yeah, please. It really helps us out if you subscribe. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, and until tomorrow. Bye! Bye, guys.